Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. In my recent review of the Leonardo Momento Magico, I mentioned that I would really like to see Leonardo come out with a piston filler version of the original Momento Zero. The Momento Zero is almost the perfect pen for me. I'll let you guess which of my pens is perfect for me. The Memento Zero Grande is a gorgeous piston filler fountain pen, but it tends to be a tad long for long writing sessions. And if Leonardo isn't going to do it, I exhorted Magon to turn their Moonman M800 into a piston filler since they now have this new piston design in their wonderful new Magon P136. But turning acrylic is a little more complicated than injection molding plastic, I think. Then a few of my viewers alerted me to a new fountain pen from Asveen, the folks who brought us this very interesting vacuum filler last year. So I snagged one immediately, and here it is, the Asveen P20. Now that it's here, I'm excited to see the similarities and differences between this Asveen P20, the Leonardo Momento Zero, and the Moonman M800. Let's put them side by each and find out right now. So a little while ago I mentioned that even though I love my Leonardo Momento Zero Grande, I wish that Leonardo would make the Momento Zero size with a piston. Or if Leonardo doesn't do it, perhaps Moon Man would come out with an M800 uh, with a piston in it. They seem to be doing pistons a lot. And a viewer informed me that, no, it wasn't Moon Man and it wasn't Leonardo, but the company Asveen has come out with a piston filler that's very similar to the Momento Zero in size and shape. And I ordered one, and here it is. Let's open it up. I'm getting good at cutting the tops off of these bundles of bubble pack and pushing the pen out. Here it is in its pen sleeve. Take that off. Well, um, that's interesting. I, yeah, it does have the Leonardo style roller clip, the pointed finials, and this purple acrylic. It actually reminds me a bit of Narwhal in terms of the depth of it. That it uh, doesn't seem that deep. Uh, and it feels fairly light as well as an acrylic. And I ordered the purple because I thought that it was a deeper blue uh, than the other blues available. And it's got orange in it as well not that thrilled with the orange a lot of shimmer and it's got a, uh, a greek key kind of a cap motif on it with no branding and that knob is fairly loose right at the outset i tighten it up let's see one two two turns to get it off the section does not come off there is an ink window so this has the ink window here visible when you cap the pen which is similar to the Leonardo Magico the first version the second version of the Magico had the cap cover that ink window but again people have different preferences to that and we see a section that has the similar kind of two-step milk bottle shape as the Leonardo Momento Zero. It's not as pronounced as the Momento Zero, as you can see. And we have a number six size Asveen steel nib. We'll have to see whether that nib assembly comes out. And then the piston. Yeah, it has a metal with flats on it, so I'll have to see if my wrench will fit that. A lot of play in that knob when it's loose and the other question is does it post well the cap goes on securely but it makes it pretty long it doesn't go very deep at all whereas the momento zero is tapered more 
and actually I can write with the memento zero both posted and unposted but I'll be interested to clean this out and ink it up with some purpley blue ink of some sort and put the pen through its paces this is the Asveen P20 and what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen show some size comparisons some measurements and then provide a writing sample after the writing sample please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen I'm also going to do a head-to-head -head comparison between the Asveen P20 the Moon Man M800 and the Leonardo Momento Zero that inspired them both plus I'm going to add the narwhal school kill to the comparison list because the pen might have more in common with this narwhal than with either the momento zero or the moon man the first i heard of the asveen pen company was when they offered me this asveen v169 vacuum filler uh, last year for me to review there are also some new colors for this asveen v169 vacuum filler and i've since come to discover that the Asveen brand is registered by Sally the lady who runs the Etsy easy buy store her real name is Jio Hong Lee overall the P20 is a medium-sized conical finial piston filler made of turned acrylic with a visible ink window while capped and has gold colored metal hardware the acrylic is an interesting swirl that is closer to the acrylic of the narwhal school kill than either the Leonardo or the Moon Man. Leonardo and Moon Man have such deep chatoyant acrylics that both the Narwhal and the Asveen just can't match. I have two Momento Zeros, one in Prunia and one in Blue Hawaii, and they're both stacked acrylics. Really, really gorgeous material. And I have three Moon Man M800s. They're also amazing, deep acrylics I have it in this galaxy blue this amber and this emerald green all three moon man m800s of mine have Leonardo nibs currently the Asveen p20 acrylic is closer to that acrylic on the narwhal school kill than in comparison to either the Leonardo or the moon man they look like they're almost from the same company from the top we see the conical acrylic finial which tapers up to a flat gold metal band on top of the gold metal clip the clip is similar to the Leonardo wheel clip but it has a beveled shape to it which is actually very attractive and it's very springy and usable the cap tapers up to a wide gold metal band that has a Greek key symbol motif on it all the way around the band bevels straight down to the barrel which starts with uh, the clear ink window and then the barrel tapers down all the way to another flat gold metal band which separates the barrel from the end finial blind cap which is the piston knob and the matching conical finial at the bottom the cap unscrews with exactly two turns to reveal an acrylic section that is a more subtle interpretation of the Leonardo's two-step milk bottle type section and you can see it there it's a very subtle two-step on the Asveen the section is very comfortable in the hand and those threads and that step down are not obtrusive at all the nib is a gold colored number six size steel and there is the black plastic feed the nib and the feet are part of a nib assembly that unscrews easily for replacement or maintenance and the section is part of the body of the pen so it doesn't unscrew let's get a closer look at this nib there is some border scroll work a script m in a circle and asveen in a script writing engraved onto the nib the inside of the cap shows a ledge milled into it that meets up with the top of the section to seal the nib from evaporation the cap does post and it posts fairly securely uh, but not deeply and it sits right on top of that piston knob so I won't be posting this pen and I recommend you don't post it either as any slight turn of that cap when posted can send ink shooting out the nib unposted the pen is very comfortable and plenty long enough to write with 
for long sessions. I bought this pen on AliExpress for $29.67 US and the pen is available in four color patterns. This one is called Purple Red and it's available in green, blue green, and ocean blue. There's a more expensive option when you buy it with the box. Now let's line up four pens for comparison. From top to bottom, we have the Asveen P20 piston filler and then the Narwhal Schoolkill piston filler. This one is in the finished Dragonette Sapphire. Then the Leonardo Momento Zero Prunia and then the Moonman M800 in Galaxy. You can see why I put the Asveen and the Narwhal next to each other as there's a striking similarity between the two pens. Before we look at them posted and unposted with the size comparisons, I want to show you how to take this pen to pieces and put it back together again. Now I'm going to take this Asveen P20 piston filler apart with the aid of a Wingsong uh, 699 wrench, which fits this pen and also, you'd be interested to find out, fits the Narwhal Schoolkill as well. There, you see it fits into that piston perfectly which leads me to believe that these two pistons are the same. The first thing we can do is take the cap off, put it there, and grab some Kleenex. And I'm going to unscrew the nib from the section. There we go. And you can see that there are two O-rings on the nib unit, one right there and one back here. And now, we can open up the piston, grab our wrench, and the wrench goes on the flatted sides. There's two flatted sides to that piston mechanism. And this wrench goes around those flatted sides, just like that. And then I just hold the wrench in place and screw down the piston so it squeezes that wrench. And then you go the opposite of what you usually do. You know, remember that rhyme, righty tighty, lefty loosey? Well, you're going to go righty loosey, lefty tighty. We're going to turn the piston to the right, so clockwise to release it, and then we're going to tighten it down by going counterclockwise. And that should allow us to withdraw that piston mechanism. And there it is. Now at this point, I would suggest not doing anything further to this. There's a loose ring right here that can come off and you can lose it. And also, once you withdraw this piston from this mechanism, and you can even take the cap off, it takes a bit of ingenuity and trial and error to get the whole thing to go back together again properly. So that distance is proper and the piston travels the proper distance as well. So I'm just going to leave that there after I've cleaned it off and I'm going to get a cotton swab and just clean out the inside of that barrel, clean out the inside of the section. You can get at that from both sides and you can run water through that. But we can make sure it's completely clean at this point. Then we're going to add a little bit of silicone grease to those piston rings, just the rings and just a little dab will do you. All I'm going to do is run that around. And then you can insert that whole thing back into the barrel again and run it up and down a few times just to get that grease moving. And then we're going to turn it the opposite way to tighten that piston down. And we're going to snug it up just hand tight. Don't over tighten it. You can crack this. Then you can release the piston a little bit and get rid of that wrench and close the piston all the way down. Then we're going to do that a couple of times just to make sure that grease is moving all the way up and down the barrel. Then we can grab our nib. Some people will put a little bit of grease right there. Not necessary, but just a little bit of grease helps it move a little bit better inside that section. There we go. And we're done. Voila. Now let's look at the size comparisons. Here is the Asveen P20 piston filler. 
with a Narwhal School Kill Dragonette Sapphire, a Leonardo Momento Zero Prunia, a Moonman M800 Galaxy, and an Asveen V169 Vacuum Filler. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. You can see that the Asveen and the Narwhal have exactly the same issue. The both the caps post right on top of that piston and it's not recommended to post them. The uh, Momento Zero and the M800 both post very, very nicely. In fact, the M800 Moonman posts a little bit better than the Leo. And the Asveen V169 doesn't post at all. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. The Asveen and the Narwhal are almost identical in size and shape. The Asveen is a little bit thicker and has a thicker section. The Moonman M800 is almost identical, if not identical, to the Leonardo Momento Zero. And the Asveen 169, although it's a very nice piston filler, it's a very heavy metal pen. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper. And this is the Asveen P20. And it has a medium number six size steel nib. Let's check the wetness. The pen is very nicely wet and extremely smooth right out of the box. Just a hint of feedback, which is just the way I like my nibs. I'm actually very pleased with this nib. The way it writes, it doesn't need any tweaking at all. And it's nicely juicy. And the ink today is Ferris Wheel Press. Tumbling time blue. And here it is swatched on some Tomoe River paper. You can see, hopefully, that it has a really interesting hot pink sheen. Uh, it's a deep cobalt blue and mixed with that sheen almost turns purple. And it has a silver shimmer to it as well. One of the issues with this ink and this pen, other than the fact you need to clean the pen regularly because of the shimmer, is the tiny 20 milliliter bottle that has a neck too small to accommodate the section of the Asveen P20 and many other piston filling fountain pens as well. So I unscrewed the nib of this pen and inserted a syringe and filled the pen that way. And so I know it sort of defeats the purpose of a piston filler, but that's the only way I could get this ink into this pen. And as to line variation, well, it's a very, very stiff nib. So you're not going to get any line variation out of it. And the line this nib makes is 0 0.5 millimeters, which is, according to my Richard Binder chart, a Western fine or a Japanese fine to medium. And for our quote, And some reverse writing. It's actually very wet and a bit thinner. And some quick writing. I 
actually no issues at all keeping up. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? First, I want to discuss the comparison of this pen with the Narwhal, the Leonardo, and the Moon Man. The Moon Man M800 is a very close copy of the Leonardo Momento Zero. Very, very close. They are essentially the same size and shape, and with a Leonardo nib and the Moon Man, they are, for all intents and purposes, identical. But the Asveen P20, even though I thought it was a Leonardo Momento Zero clone with a piston, it's actually closer to being a clone of the Narwhal Schoolkill. If you rounded the pointed finials and put a non-roller clip on the Asveen, it'd be hard to tell these two pens apart. The Asveen is a full five millimeters longer than the Momento Zero, where it's only two millimeters shorter than the Narwhal. So the Asveen P20 is not a Momento Zero with a piston. It's much closer to the Narwhal. And as a pen unto itself, there's a lot to like about this pen, not least of which is the price. At 30 bucks, it's in direct competition with the Hongdian N7 and N8 piston fillers, as well as the Narwhal Schoolkill, which is twice the price. The fit and finish of this pen is excellent. The pen feels great in the hand, unposted, and it has a large ink supply at 1.8 milliliters. It comes apart easily with the Wing Sung wrench, and the piston mechanism works very well. I like the ink window being visible while the pen is capped. And the nib is super smooth and wet right out of the box. And it's available in a medium. Hooray! In the frozen land of Nador, they were forced to eat Robin's minstrels. And there was much rejoicing. Remember, this is an eastern medium, though. It writes more like a western fine nib at 0.5 millimeters. There are only a couple of issues that I have with this pen. One is the lack of a deep, secure, and balanced ability to post. The cap sits on the piston knob, and just like the Narwhal, it makes it a dangerous practice to post this pen with the possibility of turning that piston and expelling ink. And the acrylic just doesn't have the same depth of a Leonardo or even the Moon Man M800. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens as I'm now an affiliate of the online store. And when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say thank you. For watching. And that's all she wrote.